Beach volleyball is hard, but playing defense, we can make a little bit easier. So if you're struggling with getting digs on the move, being able to run to a ball and then make a quality touch or make a quality touch while running, we've got the video for you. Coming up, we're gonna show you all of the keys, things you need to know, and common mistakes for digging while you're on the move or while you're running. One of the most important things to realize about beach volleyball passing is that it's an accuracy skill. So in anything that has to do with accuracy, we want to minimize movement. We want things to be as simple as possible. And one of the biggest mistakes that we see when people are running to a ball and they have to make a play on it is that we get these big elbow pumps that happen for too long. Now you can argue that without elbow pumping, your body doesn't have the counterbalance and it might make you a tiny bit slower, but if you pump your arms for too long and you don't have your angle set up, it's gonna be harder to touch the ball with good, clean accuracy. We don't wanna have these big swooping motions at the end and you also don't want your hands to come to the ball unbuilt. So, first thing that I want you to imagine is any, I don't know, Special Forces, CIA, your superhero who's carrying a gun through a movie, anytime he's running and on the move, he has it aimed. It's not like somebody's running and going pow, 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 right? It's a hold steady angle. So even if they might be moving a tiny bit slower, their accuracy has improved immensely and that's what's gonna count when we have to pass on the move. So your first key is to make sure that your hands get together and your platform gets built early. It should be at least before the last step. If you're playing beach volleyball defense properly and you're in a good position, you should only be two steps and a lay down from every ball you need. So that means that when you are on the move, you have one step to pump your arms and by the time you're in the middle of that second step, your hand should start getting built and start getting towards the ball. That's your first key. Your second key is to make sure that you're looking at the bottom of the ball. That's really, really important. Anytime your vision stays on the bottom of the ball, you have this belief on defense that you can still get to it. And you wanna keep your eyes and head underneath the bottom of the ball. If I drop a ball from here, and we do this with students all the time, if I drop a ball from here, right, and you're standing tall, and I drop it and you have to go down and get it, that's really tough. But if I drop it from the same height and I have a student sit down low, all of a sudden it becomes easier for them to dig that ball or to catch that ball. So the key is that you have to run low and you have to keep yourself low by staring at the bottom of the ball. That's gonna help as a visual cue and it's gonna help you get some more balls. More importantly, it's gonna help you believe that you can continue running and getting to those balls. The last thing that we wanna talk about for digging on the move is having our angle set up to where we want the ball to go. And where do we usually want the ball to go? We want to center it towards the court. So most often we want to pass at a one o'clock or an 11 o'clock angle off of our body. So as you're running down, any ball that you need to pass on the move, you have one pump, then you need to start getting your hands together and out so that you can nudge it with an angle. You see the face of my forearms here? That angle, if you can imagine something shining on it and me reflecting it, that is the angle that we need to make. If I run here with my shoulders upright, straight across, I'm gonna hit the ball up, and it might go up, but it's not gonna go where I want. So while you're on the move, you need to practice running and having this shoulder tilt as you're running so that the angle of your platforms is facing your 11 o'clock or one o'clock, depending if you're on this side or the other side. So that's digging on the move. You wanna make sure that your platform gets out early. You wanna make sure that you're looking at the bottom of the ball and running low the entire time. And we wanna present a great angle using shoulder tilt to get that ball forward and where we want to go. You don't have to get stopped. That's another really common mistake that people make. You don't have to get stopped in order to make this play. 
It's okay to be on the move and keep your momentum going to your point of hesitation or where you're gonna start your approach from. So if you do get to a ball, don't force yourself to get there, stop, and then hit it. See if you can time it so that you can be on the move and in rhythm. Don't make any jerky movements like you're going to hit it. See if you can softly nudge it as you're on the move. That's digging on the move. Hope you enjoyed the video. I wanna hear about any defensive problems that you might be running into. What is the hardest part about having to chase a ball for you? Is it running? Is it thinking that the ball is too far? Is it not knowing where somebody is about to hit and therefore you don't even start? Let me know in the comments and we can help you out.